Hey, 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 family. I decided to do another video. Hope all is well with many of you. Some of you, I'm catching you like in the morning time, you know, lunchtime, evening. Wherever I find you, may this message be on time. It's not for everybody, but it is for somebody, okay? And the words that's going to come out of my mouth, um, you know, it's, it's out of love, okay? Um, I'm a firm believer. We pointing fingers, judging people. You don't make room to love a person, okay? So I meet people where they are, and I love them from where they are, okay? Even if they don't feel the way about me, you still over there and I'm still over here, okay? I'm still over here, but I love you where you are, okay? So anyway, um, I was just sitting here reflecting and I was thinking about The word fruit that's what popped up in my spirit the word fruit I think about Psalms 1 okay in the, in the beginning in my humble beginning when I came to my spirit awakening I was very hungry for knowledge okay because I was going through some changes and I wanted to know what what is this you know what's going on with me Okay, and then plus I was at a crossroad also in my life, and I knew that when it comes to the answers, you know, um, I can't get it out here. Okay, I need to get in the word. Okay, get planted in the. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking at this right here. Look, family. I'm like, what the hell? You see that that bug right there? I'm like, what in the world? But anyway. I just sister shook. I'm good. You ain't getting in here, buddy. Alright. But um, as you see, I got quick reflex, okay? Alright. But anyway, um I got in the word, okay. Um I wanted I was seeking something because I was I was feeling a little empty shall I say okay I was feeling a little empty inside and I was seeking answers as well okay and what I, and what I mean by empty you know I knew it was more than just this as far as what I'm what I've been seeing okay with these kernel eyes okay I, I was seeking you know um, that which I was seeking I knew that I had to get it from source okay from the all there is the most high and um even though, um, according to the word, um, nothing is new under the sun, uh, I was still seeking, okay? My, my, my intentions were out there to the universe. I'm seeking. So I started getting to the word, okay? I wanted to feed my inner man because as I stayed, I, I was feeling a bit empty on the inside. And there's nothing like the word, okay? Which is a lamp until our feet, our feet and a light until our path. It's, not, it's nothing like, you know, getting the word in you. Uh, I know for me, it has always lifted my spirit. But I wanted more than just to read it, okay? Um, I wanted to get it inside of me, okay? So, I started off doing Psalms. You know, I read all the Psalms, okay? And um, it's something about Psalms 1 that always intrigued me, you know? Uh, when you think about it, it speaks about, you know, fruit. And um, the verse, it says, um, Be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water that will bring forth its fruit in its season. Okay, its leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever you do shall prosper. It's more to it. But I read it, I read it, I read it. And finally, it's like I had an aha moment once I started going through my spiritual awakening. I just had the aha moment and I understood what Psalms 1 was talking about. And yes, I was reading it day and night. Yes, I was meditating on that verse day and night as well as a host of other verses 
there in the scripture, um, I knew how important it was to get inside of me. Okay, it's one thing to do the lip service, but to get the word inside of you, you have it here, you know, and it's in your heart. You can always pull it out anytime. Okay, you don't have to go home and pick a book up and read it when you feel some type of way. If you have it inside of you, you can always pour it out, pour it out anytime. Okay, and um, that's what I was doing. Okay, and being very beneficial uh, to your sister, you know, um, since I've been doing that, okay, because it's inside of me, and I, and I know the word is a worship of the Most High God in spirit and in truth. So it's not just lip service, okay. Uh, please know we can fool people, but you can't fool the spirit. It's a veil, and everything's going on here. They see it, they see it, and the God of the Universe knows when we are ready, okay. Uh, when we're doing just lip service or walking the walk. And um, when you are ready and you're making a conscious effort, I know for me, when I was ready and I was making a conscious effort, you know, um, seeking, okay, uh, other things start to be revealed to me, all right? And this became open, okay? And a host of other experiences. But um, I think about you know, X two seventeen, And, you know, it's a lot of people that go to church, like your sister, you know, I was raised and born, you know, uh, I went, that's all I know is church, okay, I grew up as a Baptist, and so I get it, you know, um, I get the background as far as going to the church, and it has its place, and I'm grateful for that humble beginning, um, as far as going to church, okay, um, but many of us, who have went to church and we have read that, you know, um, we always looked at it as though, you know, the most high God put out his spirit upon our flesh, you know, um, I know for me, I always looked at that verse as far as people who have the gift of the spirit, you know, who become prophets, okay? There are people who even have, you know, uh, dreams and they're able to interpret dreams, okay? So there are many, 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 many layers to that gift, okay? But it is a form of fruit, Okay, spiritual fruit. Let me just say that. And um, when one has an experience, okay, um, that, wow, can really go over your head. Let me just say that. They're speaking from a place of spiritual meat, okay? That's having an experience. And, you know, those who understand you, uh, those who know what you're talking about, because they too have walked the walk and they get you, um, they're, they're able to uh, receive that and understand it. Many are not able to receive that, to understand it. So for them, they have to have spiritual milk, okay? And I look at the word as really spiritual milk. That's my take on it. And for many, you know, I can't speak for everybody else, but for me, I wasn't understanding it. And, and there are levels to it. It's still a lot that I still don't understand. Let me just say that. Okay, this walk is a daily walk. But for, when it comes to the spiritual aspect of it, um, I understand Acts 17. Okay? When God put out his spirit upon all flesh, I understand it. Okay? But you have people who go to church, and they will judge you based on your gifts. And they forget all about X217. But I guess it don't meet their standards of, oh, you're not a prophet to them. But remember, you are who you say you are. I'm your sister, I'm walking with you, okay? But I do embrace my gifts, okay? That most high God qualifies. So that being stated, so with that being said, um, don't look to man for validation, family. Look to source, the most high God. The all there is. It has many, many names. Look to the great I am. Okay? I am that I am. Look to that. That's inside of you. Okay? Because out here, when it comes to the gift of the Spirit, it means many, many, many things to many people. Okay? Some people see it as something negative. And they most no part of it. And they will shut you down because it 
it's not inside their box way of thinking okay they just don't get it okay and it's understandable how can you speak on something you know nothing about so I guess that but then they get to judging and the pointing of fingers and I guess that too and they don't supposed to be judging but I guess that too why they do what they do so I love them from where they are okay but they forget all about Acts 217 here it is 2021 and people forget all about what was written in the word okay and it is written but they overlook it he said I put out my spirit upon all flesh he didn't send it about his blood okay you, you utilizing the blood a lot of people you know uh, are into many many different things a lot of people and i'm not judging them i'm just speaking on it a lot of people are, are into many many different things okay and that's their walk that's their path but your sister i do not exercise in spilling of the blood and there is power in the blood let me just say that but i don't go that route okay i'm led by the spirit what's inside of me and what's inside of me is good Okay, it's good fruit that's inside of me. All right? And I say that because I am that I am. Okay? I'm not of self. And I don't need to look outside of myself to conjure up anything. Okay? That's like going through the back door when we're looking outside of ourselves, when we are worshiping outside of ourselves. Okay? I worship that that is within me. Okay? That's all there is source the most highs that's what that's who and what I acknowledge okay and Yeshua that's what I acknowledge but anything outside of me no and maybe you might say well you say knowledge Yahshua I mean you only know about Yahshua because you read it in the book and you know that's out here the book is out here yes indeed but you know what if you're not really sure about Yeshua test the spirit Go within yourself. Find out if that name, Jesus, Yeshua, find out if that name has authority. Especially if you're able to see within yourself. And even if you can't, if something is attacking you that's in the unseen and you cannot see it, you realize that name and see it doesn't have authority to, to make it stop, to protect you. That's how you know. I knows what I knows what I know because I utilize it and it is very effective and the spirit realm acknowledged that name and that's all I need to know at the end of the day many people read books and they go about what they read many people go about what they hear and many people knows what they know because they have experienced it to speak on it okay that name is very effective family even though people don't care for the name Jesus it's very effective okay because source acknowledge your heart source knows your intentions and when you're putting it out there, please know. It is acknowledged. And when you go within yourself, you will see for yourself the power and the authority that name carries. So when I go within myself and I'm having beautiful experiences, it's because I'm covered. It's because my frequency is where it needs to be. Anything that's low vibrational cannot touch me in the spirit realm. Okay, and that's my truth. That's my testimony. I know a lot of people don't really understand frequency, but I'm talking about energy family. We are all energy. Eternal, spiritual, multidimensional beings, okay? We all come from the great I am. 
the all there is, the most high, we all come from source. Let that sit there. So, whenever a person comes at me sideways, see how the spirit is in the place? <laughs> I can't make this up. You're thinking about your energy family. But anyway, um, I forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, uh, so when people come at me sideways, and it's, it's, it's not all the time, but it's like once in a blue moon, I love them from where they are because I'm in my heart space. I'm, I'm able to talk like this, okay? Um, they're not in their heart space when they're negative, okay? So that's their path, okay? Um, I'm really unbothered by it, and I won't give it my attention whatsoever, okay? Um, the divine within, me, divine within me say, peace be still. Keep your eyes on the prize, okay? Because that light that is within me is bright, okay? And the light cannot be hidden. It cannot be hidden. And there was a time when I was trying to dim my light because I didn't want people to, for whatever reason, not accept me. Excuse me. And that's the truth because I spoke about this before. But then who are you trying to please? We have to ask ourselves that. Who are we trying to please? They don't like what they see. But maybe they need to look at themselves. It's no reflection on you. It's a reflection on them. At the end of the day, I love people from where they are, okay? And I keep my eyes on the prize and focus on myself, okay? And keep doing what I have been called to do. That's all you can do, family. When it comes to this thing called fruit, you know, there's fruit like worldly fruit, money, okay? Make it rain, make it rain, money, okay? A lot of people working, they try to have, have, try to have a good life, you know, so they're putting the work in out here, you know. Um, a lot of people working, doing jobs that they don't really care about. They're not even happy. They're just working just because, you know, they're trying to pay bills. And that, to me, it's very sad. Because what they're doing, they're not passionate about it. They're doing it just because. And then many of you are doing what you love. And that's truly a blessing. It really is. You know, to do what you love and you're passionate about it. I say kudos for you. And I pray that many of you will get to that place of, you know, doing what you love. Because anything that you love to do, it doesn't feel like work. Okay? You feel good and eager to get up every day and just do what you love to do. Especially when it comes to being a service and, you know, when you're trying to help people, you know. Um, it feels good. Giving back always feels good because you get so much in return, like the way I see it, 100 fold in every part of your life. Okay, you get it back big times. As they say, your health is your wealth. Oh, all of that improves. You, you just vibrationally on a natural high. You hear I me? Mean? On a natural high, yes, indeed. But then, as I stated, there is the physical fruit which is money okay a lot of people gravitate to that more than anything and especially those who are rich you know because they have so much of it you know uh, they neglect this on the inside and even though even those who are not rich they are, they're out here chasing the money and um, now I ain't talking about just working regularly I'm talking about like people who are just actually really really chasing the money okay due to greed when greed set in and they lose sight of this. And then you have those, not everybody, that works on 9 to 5, 7 to 3, 30, or whatever you want to say it, 8 to 4, 30, 5, your yeah, 9 to 5, whatever you want to say. And first shift, second shift, third shift, whatever, 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 however you want to look at it, they're working. And not all, but many of them, I'd probably say good 70%, they're working. And they're still acknowledged. They still are not acknowledging this on the inside. 
So who's really, really winning? It is fruit, material fruit, but it's on the inside being neglected. There must be balance. And now, and, I, and this is this is just my figuring family. It might not be the ultimate politi politically correct figure, but this is just how I look at it. Then that 30%, they're working, and most importantly, they really do what they love to do. They're working, and they make time out for this. As I stated, there must be balance, okay? Many people get this, and many people don't, but there must be balance. And when there is ultimate balance, oh, there would be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth their fruit in their season, their leaf would not wither, and whatsoever they do shall prosper. Because they acknowledge putting God first, the most high first, okay? And they work. But they're not chasing that. They're chasing this on the inside. Priorities. Priorities. They're chasing this on the inside. This is more priceless than out here because they know that what they're seeing out here, okay, it starts on the inside. When this is fruitful on the inside, when this is fruitful on the inside, ooh, out here is nice. Okay? It's, it's real nice what you're seeing. And don't be doing something that you love to do. Oh, that's a plus. That is a plus. And even if you are working and, and it's not really your passion, but it pays the bills. But you're fruitful on the inside because you put this first. You're not supposed to have God, source, and spirit, and in truth. Okay, not the lip service, but you actually putting the work in. Oh, it shows out here. It shows out here. He will bless you with more fruit. And that fruit is spiritual fruit. More gifts, more talent. Hell, maybe even, you know, with that gift and talent, you know, you can apply that and be fruitful. I'm just sharing the love, family. That's all. Um, I love Psalms 1. I really do. You know, um, I'm always, when I'm sitting around and, you know, um, just being still, you know, I would just sit there and just say it within myself, telepathically within myself, without the book in front of me, because it's inside of me. Anything inside of you, you don't need a book. It's like eating the word. I meditate on it. I just sit there and I'm in a state of gratitude and I'm acknowledging the I am that I am that's inside of me, the all there is, the most high, and I'm just grateful. And for many of you, as well as for me, I use it also, okay, when I'm detecting, okay, anything outside of me. They're trying to block my path. I exercise Psalms 91. I know that by heart. I chewed it up because I read it so much. It's inside of me. And I pour it out. Okay? Not so much lip service. And you can, it can be lip service, but you can say it inside of you within yourself. Oh, how they flee. I did not care for the word. And there are others that you can pour out. But it's one thing to read it, but to get it inside of you is priceless. Because it's in your spirit. That's right, it's in your spirit. It's a part of you. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, family. Let there be balance when it comes to the fruit. Okay? It must be balance. And if one is going to be more than the other, let it be spiritual fruit, okay? But it's a matter of choice, I know. I choose spiritual fruit over anything because it will help me to navigate out here. If it's helping me to navigate on the inside, it's definitely helping me to navigate outside as within, so without. Oh, well, don't forget, um, October the 21st at 11 a.m. 
Eastern Time, you must be on my backup channel. It won't be, it will not be here. So check my community section if you want um, a reading. Okay. It's a matter of choice. If you ain't into all of that, don't worry about it. I'm not talking to you, love. Only for that small select few. Okay? Because I'm exercising my gift that the most high God has blessed me with. All right? My work speaks for itself. And I'm humbly grateful. Let love be your guide. And if it's guiding you my way, Backup channels, Awakened Butterfly Readings. Next week, October 21st, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. You must be on my backup channel in order to um, take part in the live readings, okay? I love you. And keep on producing fruit, but please make sure you prioritize what's more important, okay? The Most High God first, always. Bye, fam.